we're proud of them. We're proud of how hard they go. And, and you know, you play basketball, you make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But like we told them, this is this is a uh, this is a group that uh, they're our guys, and they're they're a, a team and they're brothers, and we stick by each other. And uh, uh, we have disappointments, and we all ache when we have disappointments, and we all celebrate when we have uh, you know success. And so uh, he knows that he's got people around him that, that uh, got his back. Who would have thought lightning could strike twice in the Arizona Wildcats? Well, it was actually more of an earthquake and how appropriate here in Southern California. We're here at the Galen Center on the campus of the University of Southern California, where the Wildcats suffered yet another excruciating loss, 65-64 to the Trojans. And it was a loss through the most improbable ways once again. It was Jamel Horn's mistake that everything's going to be pinned on after this weekend. Horn committed the foul at half court, which is eerily reminiscent of earlier this season. Everyone remembers it. It was nationally criticized on ESPN, Sports Center, all of that, where Jamel Horn committed a foul at half court in McHale Center uh, to give the UAB Blazers a chance to win the tied game at the free throw line. Tough loss. We controlled the tempo, we controlled the game, you know, throughout the whole game, except for that last three seconds. And like I said before, you, know, you gotta play a whole three minutes. You know, tonight's a great example. Well, we're here in the Galen Center court where the Wildcats found themselves in this same situation just a few hours ago. Uh, USC had to take the ball from the baseline down there, and in three seconds, get the ball as far up as they can and take a desperation shot, a prayer, a low percentage shot, whether that be from half court or anywhere else. Uh, it really wasn't gonna happen, and this game should have gone into overtime. However, Dwight Lewis drove the ball up right here along the sideline, and all it took was just some hands from Jamel Horn trying to defend him. That's what sent him to the free throw line, and that's what gave USC the victory, 65-64. And once again, the Wildcats didn't have the intent to foul at all. At worst, they were going into overtime where they'd have five extra minutes to do what they could and try to get the win. But once again, a mistake by Jamel Horn was all that it took to seal the fate for the Wildcats. It's strange and uh, it's uh, you know disappointing for all of us. Uh, but you know, I. You know, I, I'm not uh, sure that play uh, was nearly as big as the, uh, you know, the four-point play on the intentional foul. The loss of the Trojans drops Arizona to 11 and seven overall, two and four in the Pac-10 after getting swept this weekend by the Los Angeles schools here in Southern California. They had a 23-point blowout loss to UCLA on Thursday night in Poly Pavilion, and now they're in a tough spot heading into Wednesday's big matchup with ASU in McHale Center. For the Arizona Daily Wildcat, reporting from Los Angeles, I'm Brian Roy.